Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Lunchtime Improv. Lunchtime Improv. My girl wants to improv all the time. Improv all the time. Improv all the time. Shoulder work. Shoulder work. Shoulder work. Okay. Okay. So, I downloaded this app called Sokyo. Now, um, it has, oops, let's do this. It has a bunch of different options for improv, like suggestions, anything from speech, habit, character, which I'll probably be doing one of those later, and emotions. Miming is cool, but I think it's something that needs to be done with uh, a couple of people, like a, an actual scene. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the phrase. You can see that there's already a phrase up there. I'm not going to use that one. Uh, two minutes on the clock. That's how this works. Phrase is Houston. We have a problem. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. Two minutes on the clock. Houston, we have a problem. Now I haven't actually seen Apollo 13. I haven't seen a lot of the space movies that are out there. And in fact, I recently went back and I saw 2001 and I was like, boy, did they have it wrong. I was like, they, you know, to them, like 2001 was so far away. I mean, and it was probably at the time that they made that movie. But then, like to us now in 2022, 2001 was really long ago. And so for me, I think about a lot of those movies where they use the the actual date as like the date of destruction. Like for example, Terminator. Um, I think ah, one of the Terminator movies. I can't remember what it was, but one of the Terminator movies. It was like on this date in like 2012 or something like that. I forgot what the date was. They're like humanity is just kind of like burst. It's like you know we're gonna get into like war. All this stuff is gonna happen and people are gonna die and there's gonna be like nothing left. And, of course, that time came and went, and nothing happened. Same thing with that movie 2012. I don't know if you guys remember that one, because it was like 10 years ago. What? She can count. <laughs> that movie, I actually have not seen it. But, um, yeah, the, the whole premise is that in 2012, <laughs> the world's going to explode, or whatever, whatever. I don't know. I didn't see the movie. But, I... I think that we as a people, as a community, as a society, are really obsessed with the end of time. And I think that there's a religious aspect to it. But additionally, I think that there's also just like this idea of like we have to like save humanity and like what are we going to do if this particular event happens? Like are we prepared for it, you know? And that's why like I see people who buy and stockpile gold. Uh, because they're, they're thinking this is going to be the only kind of currency out there after the collapse and demise of society. Okay. That's it. If you were looking for a two minute improv, hey, you found it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for joining me on Lunchtime Improv. Lunchtime Improv. Look at that shoulder work. Mm, 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 mm. How about this? Mm, 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 mm. Thanks for watching. Please remember to be good to yourself today. We are living in difficult times, and just be good to yourself. Don't sweat the small stuff, and you know what? Sometimes a piece of candy is the small stuff, okay? So I hope you have a great day, and if you are curious, interested in more of this channel, please feel free to like and subscribe, and comment. Thanks a lot.